Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion. And today we're going to take a look at productive efficiency in the short run in the market structure of perfect competition. It's super important that you understand what this is because this is something you're going to look at in all the market structures and compare um, in the analysis and evaluation sections of the exam. So check it out. All right, we start off with a nice little definition, right? A firm is said to be productively efficient if it produces its product at the lowest possible unit cost, which is the average cost. So productive efficiency happens for firms. We're talking about firms. We're not talking about the marketplace. We're talking about firms. When they are operating the most efficiently they possibly can in producing their goods, where MC equals their average costs, or where the marginal cost equals their average costs. And by the way, average cost is also the average total cost. So this point right here, at this quantity of Q, this firm will be operating at its productively efficient point of output. Guess what? Yeah, well, this is also, if you think back to the break-even point, this is also the break-even point, yeah? where the average total cost curve and the marginal cost curve intersect. And this is always happens at the lowest possible point of the average cost curve um, as where the marginal cost curve intersects. All right, so this quantity right here, if the firm is operating right there, where MC equals AC, that quantity right there, the firm is productively efficient. All right, now let's check out what that looks like in the short run run okay so check it now we have a firm making normal profits yeah a firm making normal profits in the short run so how do we know that well i'm sorry abnormal profits in the short run how do we know that well here's the industry graph industry graph right the firm is taking the price c because they're price takers and that means that we have a perfectly elastic demand average revenue marginal revenue curve and remember we want to think about how did we decide where their their um profit maximizing level of output was it is where the mc curve crosses their marginal revenue curve okay so this firm wants to produce at this quantity where p equals q but is that their productively efficient point no right because in abnormal profits the their their average cost curve this average cost curve which bottoms out on the mc curve is their way of showing where and how they would make abnormal profits. So the abnormal profits rep are represented by the firm operating at the quantity that will be profit maximizing, hopefully, but that's not productively efficient. Okay, so in when a firm in the short run, in perfect competition, is making abnormal profits, they are operating at an allocatively efficient point where MC equals AR, which is this point right there, right? MC equals AR. Yes, they are. So they're allocatively efficient. They're taking care of what the consumers want, but they're not actually productively or showing productive efficiency because they're not operating at the quantity where MC equals AC. MC equaling AC is right there. So they are in the short run, working alloc operating at an allocatively efficient point, but not experiencing productive efficiency. Now, let's take a look at the same firm if they're operating at a loss, right? Productive efficiency, that is where MC equals AC. Is that where they're operating? No, there's MC equaling AC, right? In a loss, remember, we always look for in creating this curve, we always look for first where the MC crosses the marginal revenue curve because where marginal cost equals marginal revenue is the profit max maximizing output. And therefore, therefore, we extend this upward and then draw our average cost curve to represent the loss, right? But check it. We are not operating there. This would be productively efficient point for the firm. But are we operating where MC equals AR? Well, yes, we are, because we're operating right there. So in abnormal profits, in perfect competition, and when a firm is making a loss in perfect competition, just know that they are actually operating at an allocatively efficient point, allocatively efficient point. But they are not 
producing at a productively efficient point or do not have productive efficiency where MC equals AC or MC equals AC here. Okay, now the cool thing, and I'm looking at the short run here, but let's give you a little teaser, check it out. In the long run, the end of the story for all firms operating in perfect competition is normal profits, right? You got to know that. The, the long run story, in the end, what happens? Firms in productively competitive markets, sorry, perfectly competitive markets will make normal profits. If you don't understand that, go back and check out the, 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 the three videos I just made on profits. So, but what about productive and allocatively efficient? Well, in the long run, right, if they're operating where all three of these curves come together, there's actually five curves here, right? There's the marginal cost curve, the average cost curve, the demand curve, the average revenue curve, and the marginal revenue curve all intersect right there. This would be the profit maximizing point, which is where MC equals MR, MC equals MR, in normal profits in the long run, which is the end of the story for every um, firm operating, hopefully, in perfect competition, you would also find the allocatively efficient point, which is where MC equals um, average cost, which is right there. And you would also find the allocatively efficient, oh, I'm sorry, and the productively efficient point. Okay, so all of these curves come together right here to form the perfect combination of things for a firm in the long run and perfect competition to be productively efficient, um, allocatively efficient, and also um, be maximizing their um, possibilities or potential uh, profit. All right, my friends, I hope you found this video to be helpful, and we will talk to you in a bit. Take care.